Hey y'all, Sam here, and today we are going to unbox a Dia & Co box and try on this clothes. I've received two other Dia boxes. So far they've been pretty hit or miss for me. I like the style of clothes a lot of times, but the fits just aren't quite right, which is always hard with a plus size person like me. However, I do feel like they really do try to give you what you ask for, as well as take the feedback you give them um, to improve the box. So I'm hoping that this box maybe will keep everything. Let's get into it. So on top of the box, we always have this little card here and it's going to tell us what is in our box as well as a little letter. So my stylist this month is Ki, K-I-Y. One thing I've noticed is I have a different stylist every month. Um, so I don't know if that's normal or if you eventually start getting the same stylist. I don't know. If you've been with Dia for a long time, leave a comment below. Let me know if this is normal to have a new stylist or if you typically keep the same one. So it looks like we have a pair of jeans here that are a forest green color. Hopefully the camera is picking that up properly. It's a beautiful color. I don't have any pants that are this color. So it would be fun to add this color to my wardrobe. These are by Vigas and these are in the size 24 wide and 30 long. So wrapping around my neck, that seems kind of large. If you don't know that trick, if you wrap it around your neck, um, it should fit around your waist. So I have like this much extra, which makes me think that I probably should have got like a 22 or possibly a 20 in this size but we'll try them on and we will find out. Um, but before we do so, let's find out how much they cost. Okay, these pants are $78. So for me to buy these, I must absolutely love them. I'm not sure that's gonna be the case for $78, but I love the color. All right, so the next item we have in the bag is a shirt. And I'm telling y'all, this shirt is like super soft. It feels like it's cashmere. I wonder if it says on here what it's made of. Um, it's by B Curvy. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't say what it is. It doesn't have any like cleaning um, directions. It has a little like half folded sleeve here. And then the base of it is this beautiful thick lace. Um, as you can see, it does a high low. So the front is a little shorter than the back. Hopefully the front's still long enough. I like um, that lower belly area to kind of be covered by my shirts. I don't like a super short shirt. Um, this shirt is in a 3X and it is $65. Man, Dia, why is everything gotta be so expensive? Like how about $30? Like I'm down with $30. 65, uh, I don't know. However, I do kind of just like, I'm gonna rub this all over my body right now. All right, well, let's try the shirt and pants on and see what we actually think of them. Okay, so here's the top. I actually really like this top. It's so soft, y'all. I don't know what it's made of, but it's super, super soft. Um, and it has a lace detail and it kind of goes lower in the back. So this is a cute shirt. I'm just not sure it's worth the price. Um, and I do have on the green jeans as well. Um, these fit really well too. They're a little loose, like, I think I could have gone down a size. They're a straight leg. Can you see the feet? You probably can't see my feet. I feel like I'm so far from you right now. <laughs> um, but they're really cute. So next in the box, I have this beautiful blouse. I actually really like the pattern of this. Um, it's called a Katerina Floral Tank. And it is in the color peach. Um, it just looks like a really nice dress blouse. It looks like it should be kind of loose around the midsection um, because it does get a little wider. However, there's no stretch in this material at all. So like this, this girl ain't budging. So if she does not fit loose everywhere, then I probably won't keep her because I can't stand if a shirt gets too snug um, in my lower stomach kind of area or as well as my back. And this blouse retails for $59. So let's go ahead and try her on and see what we think. Okay, so this is the second top. 
This is definitely going back. It does not fit at all. Um, yeah, that won't even like go down over my badonka dunk. It's a cute pattern. I like the pattern. I was thinking this might be something to actually spend the $60 on and keep, but based on the way it fits, no, not happening. Not keeping this one. This blouse, by the way, I forgot to mention, is a size 24. So that is normally like the right size on me, sometimes slightly larger. So this shirt is made pretty small, um, or it's just that it has no stretch to it. I'm not sure, but yeah, this one's going back. All right, so the next item we have is a, another blouse. Um, I kind of like the pattern of this. It's very kind of like brown, basic, but it's also kind of cute. Um, it has this cute little like, pleat in the back this looks like it'll be like really blousey and loose um i like that the base of it has like a nice little half moon shape to it so it looks like it's going to droop well on the body with that being said let's see how much the shirt cost all right so this shirt is by prescott new york and this is an a3x um and this shirt retails for 49 dollars so let's try her out. I'm kind of hoping I like this. I mean, the color is kind of like, uh, but I also feel like you can make this like super cute. Okay, so here's the next top. Um, I thought I'd hate this shirt, but then when I put it on, I was like, it's actually really, really cute. It's super comfortable, lightweight material. The issue I'm having is here in the breast. Um, let me get closer so you guys can see. It's like kind of pulling and popping. There's buttons right here. Um, and that's going to bother me like those gaps. Like if I start moving my arms, can you guys see them? Like, Oh, that's not a good look on anybody. Um, also what I don't like about the shirt is when I turn sideways, it makes me considerably wider looking. I mean, I know I'm a big girl. You don't have to tell me that, but I just feel like it doesn't do anything for my figure. But it's a cute shirt. Too bad that um, it has this weird gaps. Because if it didn't have those gaps, I'd probably still keep it. Um, and just deal with the, the blousey belly. Hey, it'd be a good, like, bloat day. Or a day that you feel really fat. You know, we all have those days that you're like, oh, I don't feel like wearing anything tight today. This would be a perfect shirt for one of those days. Um, and it is very cute. But the boob gaps. Mm-mm. So last in the box, we have a pencil skirt from Cameo. It has these cute little like zipper details right here in the front. Um, not sure if you guys can see that, but there are no pockets. I already checked. There's no pockets. Um, it is fairly long. It has a little pleat or a, not a pleat. What are they called? Um, I don't know. What are these guys called? It has like a little slit. It has a small slit in the back of the skirt. But it looks very long and maybe a little too large for me. Um, this is a size, what size is this one? It just says that it's a 3X. Um, well, let's just try her on and see what we think. All right, so the last item is this high-waisted pencil skirt. Um, I don't know if it's just too big. I kind of like it, but then I'm not sure. Um, obviously I need some like tight spikes on with this cause I feel like I'm really kind of lumpy, but, uh, it's also kind of cute, kind of professional with a white blouse and a blazer. I feel like, you know, I could rock this. I just wish the length was slightly different or slightly tighter. Like if it was tighter at the bottom, maybe I would like it better. Hmm. I don't know. That's what I'm undecided on. And this is Ginger. She decided to visit us, by the way. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you guys tell me what you think. What do you think of this high-waisted um, pencil skirt? Um, of course, I have this large shirt tucked in here, so. But hmm. it's got like cute little zippers right here, but yeah, they don't do anything. There's no holes. All right, let's review everything. Okay, so this pencil skirt retails for $59.00. Um, I'm kind of torn on this pencil skirt, y'all. Like, I feel like I could kind of rock it and it's a little out of my comfort zone because I usually don't wear something so form-fitting on my stomach. 
But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? As plus size girl, I don't know. I think I could rock the skirt. So I'm still on the fence about this one. Y'all tell me what you think. Should I keep this one or not for $59? Now let's figure out exactly what this stuff will cost me if I decide to keep it. If I keep the entire box, everything will be $212.50. However, we already know that peach top does not fit me. So that's certainly going back. So I'm not gonna keep that. Um, so therefore I will lose my 25% discount. That's how it works with the, if you'll keep everything in your box, you'll get a 25% discount, which is usually like $80 or so, at least in the boxes I've received so far. So that's a nice savings if you actually like everything in the box. But in this case, I don't. Um, so let's figure out what I'm gonna keep. I'm tempted to keep the skirt. Um, and again, the skirt was $59. And I really think the only other thing I'm gonna keep is the lace top. This top right here um, with this pretty lace at the bottom. This shirt is $65. <sighs> That's a little pricey for me. So I'm on the fence. It's really soft though. What do y'all think? Does it look good enough on me to spend $69? So if I keep both of these, um, look, we're looking at 59 plus 65 like $130, holy cow. Um, I don't know about y'all, I'm on a budget. I got a new house, I love my new house, but my mortgage is super like expensive. So to spend $120 on two items, I don't know, really on the fence. You guys are probably like, Sam, stop repeating yourself. All right, well the jeans, again, I liked these, but they were a little too big. I feel like they made my legs look a little wider. I don't know, I just didn't love them. So I'm not gonna be keeping these either. All right, well, that's it for this Dia box. Please leave a comment below letting me know what you think I should keep or I should let go of. I really do trust you guys' opinions. You know, sometimes we all need that friend to say, girl, yes, that it looks fabulous on you, even if it's out of your comfort zone. But we also need that friend that goes, yeah, I know you kind of like that, but honey, no, it don't look good on you. So I need you guys to be that for me. So leave a comment below, share some love, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.